So I heard you want to beat the Lost Sector fast. Let me Let's get those exotics. So first, I'll explain a bit about this guide while I show you the location. Then, I'll show you the build that we're going to be using today. And finally, we'll get right into the walkthrough. So today's Lost Sector is very easy for fast clears. I recommend farming it a lot if you need the armor piece in rotation today. In this video, I'll use a class specific build that I'll show you in a second, but a very effective universal build is in the description that all classes can use. Best part is it uses no exotics. And now that you know how to get there, let's get right into the build. For today's Lost Sector, we'll have to deal with Overload and Unstoppable Champions. With this in mind, we'll be taking advantage of my Omni Oculus build on Hunter. For our weapons, we'll be using a bow, glaive, and Leviathan's Breath. The bow is here to deal with the Overload Champion. The glaive will help clear a few of the adds, as well as help handle the Unstoppable Champions. Leviathan's Breath is our sleeper pick today. This weapon is severely underused. In this Lost Sector especially, it shines, as it destroys the boss and unstoppable champions. Now for our class, we'll be taking advantage of Void Hunter. For this Lost Sector specifically, invisibility cuts off at least 1-2 to two minutes, and you'll see what I mean. Now our exotic of choice, Omni Oculus, gives us resistance while invisible, which will give us a bit more sustain. We also get two charges of our smoke grenade, which can be used defensively for invisibility or offensively for weakening targets, giving us a damage increase on them. For our super, we'll use Mobius Quiver for high damage on the boss. For our grenade, Vortex is preferable to destroy the adds. For our aspect, we'll be using Vanishing Steps and Trapper's Ambush to stay invisible. Now for our fragments, we'll use Echo of Persistence, Exchange, and Obscurity. Persistence will give us a longer invisibility duration. Echo of Exchange, Synergy with our glaive. With this fragment, we get grenade energy for melee damage. Our glaive hits count for this, so we'll have great grenade uptime. Finally, Echo of Obscurity makes us invisible when finishing a target. For our stats, as usual, you'll want 100 resilience for 30% damage reduction and as much discipline as possible. And for your mods, you'll want ones that support your ammo economy. We'll need heavy and special ammo finder, as well as void reserve and scavenger mods. And with the build out of the way, let's get into the walkthrough. Alright, now the first thing you're going to want to do when you enter this lost sector is jump right over this unstoppable to the exact spot that I'm standing in right now. This guy's a little shy today, we'll let him walk towards me. And then we're going to shoot him and just hit him down with our leviathan's breath. Stun him with the glaive, hit him with Leviathan's Breath. And what that does is it stuns him, obviously, and then Leviathan's Breath gets him super low. And then from there, we'll just finish him off with our glaive. Now we'll hit the invis, and we will just run past all these adds. And this is what I'm talking about, about this being so easy on Void Hunter specifically. You can just skip that entire room after you kill that champion. Now what you're going to do here is you're going to jump up to this exact spot that I'm jumping up to and you're going to pull aggro on that unstoppable. Now you saw he was running in the other direction. You want to pull him because it's much easier to kill him over here. The unstoppable will chase you down. You'll take care of the group of Thrall with your grenade launcher. After you do that, you'll stun the champion like I just did and then you will shoot him with your Leviathan's Breath which gets him super low as you can see. Then we'll just stun him and kill him with our glaive. Pretty simple stuff. From here, one more unstoppable will spawn. We will rinse and repeat that process. After that unstoppable is down, you're going to jump to this exact spot that I'm standing and you clear the rest of the lost sector standing from right here. First, we're going to take care of the hobgoblins with our bow and then we will aim down on the overload. Now I like to just use my bow, but you can alternate trying to use your heavy. I just use my standard bow because honestly, if you switch to your heavy, sometimes he'll just randomly start regenerating. You really have to keep hitting them to take care of these overload champions. After you take care of him, you're going to want to shoot at these taken goblins as they are making the boss immune. Now, After you take care of him, whip out your leviathan's breath and just start shooting the boss down. He dies fairly quickly and I'm actually going to run up and use my super but we have so much ammo thanks to the reserve mods that we don't actually need to use our super at all. But the super will make it a bit faster since we're doing damage and running towards the chest. And that's it guys, this lost sector is really simple for fast farms. Now before you destroy your mouse clicking off of this video to go farm with your new strats, I'd like to re-grab your attention for 10 seconds. Only 2% of you are subscribed. Bruh. This is so sad. Now here's a trade offer. I give good guide, you give good sub. 
I post daily content on this channel. You can expect daily Lost Sector guides at a minimum, but I also have some very fun Destiny 2 videos planned. Either way, thanks for watching, good luck farming, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next Lost Sector.